you right now for eight hours a day or ten if you should be working. Ten hours a day at work, right? If you're going to be unhappy for that length of time for the entire week, and not only when you're at work, but when you're at home, you irritated and worrying about the fact that you've got to go to that darn place tomorrow, work, you know when. So the reality is, is you need to just make some small shifts in the way you look at things. Because if you want things to change, what can you change? Correct. Go, go, go ahead. Anyone here want to go and change the, I know we all might want to change the president. Go and change it. Go and bring down interest rates. Price of fuel. State of the economy. Anybody here can do any of that stuff? But you can. You can change yourself. Immediately you can take action. You can change yourself. So if you change yourself and you change the way you look at things and you say instead of wanting to get through the week, you make a small shift and you ask yourself a better quality question. Because the quality of your life, the quality of everything is related to the quality of your questions, right? So you ask a better quality question. You don't say, how can I get through Monday? You say, what can I get from Monday? What can I get from the week? Because you attract success. You improve the success of the people around you by who you become. Because as you become more, you attract more. As you become more, people, resources are attracted to you. People are more easily influenced by you. Because what do people really follow in you? What you say? Well, of course, if you've got a, a line leadership position and you say, go do it, the person begrudgingly goes and does it. But if you lead by example, and you show people, and you guide them with what you do, that is going to inspire people. Not motivate. Motivate is external. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to offer you financial remuneration if you do this. When people are inspired, it's something that comes from inside their own bellies. It's something that drives them. It's a little fire that starts going on, and it makes a difference. So how do we shift from seeing everything as being in our way to that miraculous, beautiful, wonderful place of seeing everything as being on our way? It's simply called vision. How many people here have sat and thought about where they want to be five years from now? Or have you, I know, you've had that New Year's resolution once where you went and you sat there and you went, you know, Drunk, of course. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. You know, I'm trying to be successful and, and that and, and stuff, and, and, and did nothing about it. And another December came, and you went, okay, so so what? I'm talking about actually sitting down, getting a crystal clear picture in your mind, a picture that you can feel, taste, smell. You can actually, it's it's so that home that you want to live in. You've had such a vivid picture of it that you've actually walked through it and bumped your arm on the fireplace. You've actually smelt the sea breeze coming off the sea. You've heard that little Vespa scooter go driving past. Can, can, can you see the picture I'm wanting you to get? I'm not talking about just getting a picture of something maybe you want. I'm talking about using every single sense you have in your body to actually visualize it, that you cause a structural tension between, hey chap, this is where I'm at, that's where I want to go. <coughs> because what are you feeding when you have a picture of possibility, a picture in the future? What are you feeding? You're giving yourself a prize, aren't you? You're saying, that's where I want to go. This is where I am. So what have I got to do to get there? I've got to pay a price, right? I've got to do stuff. I've got to get off my butt. It's spelled B-U-T. Not B-U-T-T, B-U-T. Get off my butt. But Andrew, it's hard. But the economy's not working. But my colleagues aren't supporting me. Okay, get off the but and actually make things happen. Because if you do nothing, something amazing is going to happen five years from now. But if you start to take small, tiny little actions, okay, you start to take small, tiny, incremental things every single day. 
Something's going to happen. Have you ever seen those massive, are they called yellow woods or red woods in California? Yeah. Yellow woods. I mean, these things are, you have no idea. They are bigger than you can ever imagine. But if I took an axe, and every single day, I walked up to one of those, and I took five chops out of it. Do you think I'd eventually bump that tree over? <laughs> but they are massive, so what are you saying? I mean, is anything possible if you commit to take action daily? 